Clever and confident, occasionally caustic. I take orders from just one person, me. Hmm, so one day you're still alive. Will somebody get this big walking carpet out of my way? Carrie Fisher's Leia wasn't your typical princess waiting to be rescued. Good luck. Her most famous character was outspoken on screen. Governor Tuck, I should have expected to find you holding Vader's leash. I recognized your foul stench when I was brought on board. Carrie Fisher was often equally plain speaking in real life. Sharing details of her volatile relationship with her mother, screen legend Debbie Reynolds, and her own struggles with addiction. People used to ask me, you know, right after I got sober initially, they'd say, so are you happy now? And I would say, among other things, happy is one of the many things, the many emotions I'll go, go through in a day. You know, you're not just skipping around spouting Hallmark cards. But, you know, yeah, I'm in a really much better place. Somehow you lay the entire blame for your drug taking on me. I do not. I do not, Mother. I took the, the drug. The film Postcards from the Edge was based on Carrie Fisher's semi-autobiographical novel of the same name. The central character, an actress and recovering drug addict, played by Meryl Streep. I never get my hair done. Fisher was a teenager when she made her cinema debut opposite Warren Beatty in romantic comedy Shampoo, before Star Wars made her one of cinema's most famous faces. Throughout her career, she continued working behind the camera, often as a script doctor, as well as in smaller roles in front of the camera in movies like When Harry Met Sally. Restaurants are to people in the 80s what theater was to people in the 60s. I wrote that. And in 2015, she reprised her role as Princess Leia in Star Wars The Force Awakens. And that's how millions will remember her, a groundbreaking modern heroine from a galaxy far, far away.